Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about skills and desirable skills. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what is the most desirable or coveted or something like that skill among software developers? So that's a good question. What is the most desirable skill that you can have? I think that we've touched on this in some format before, but I'm still going to go through it because I enjoy talking about it. Uh, because the thing is that we have to define what are we talking about? Are we talking about the most desirable skill among other developers, like just developers in general? Or are we talking about skills that are desirable from an employer's perspective or from some company's perspective? So if we're talking about coveted skills or desirable skills from the perspective of other developers, usually the, the, it's going to be very similar to the thing that quite a lot of uh, companies covet. So the most important thing that you can learn as a software developer is to be experienced. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that Experience is one part that you actually know how to do something, but it's a very different thing for quite a lot of people than what you might think. So you may think that just knowing how to do your job is the important thing here, and the faster you are, the better you are, and so forth and so forth. And to a degree, this is absolutely true. But what is truly, truly, truly valuable to the developers that you work with it's not just that you're really good at writing software, but that you are also very good at understanding the whole process of software development so that they feel that they have some type of expert working with them so that they feel that they can trust that this person is probably just going to do a good job all the time and they can go to that person whenever they need, regardless of what level they are at, and either shoot some ideas with you or maybe just talk something through or get some technical specification or ask for help. These sorts of things. They have someone, they have this buddy, if you will, who is just awesome at software development. Like they will talk, they will raise your, you up whenever they get a chance in other conversations and say, oh, this guy's, or this, this person is just an absolute genius, right? And that is, it, that, that is a different type of experience, if that makes sense. You are the C, a seniority. You are a, C, a real senior. You're not just, oh, the sort of person who's been doing something for a long time. And Because there's a difference, guys. I, there's a difference between seniors and seniors. There are people who have been working for quite, quite a few years, but haven't really developed these sorts of seniority traits where they have really paid attention to what they're doing, they've, had, they've been challenged in a way so they have life experience and they actually know the answers to quite a lot of complicated questions and they know how to deal with work processes and like all of this stuff. These sorts of skills are things that you need to actually practice in order to get good, good at because you can sit with one little niche thing for 10 years and turn out to be an absolute master at that one thing. But the problem with being a master of just one tiny, tiny part of all of this is that that is less valuable to quite a lot of people, uh, companies and to a lot of people. Unless they have like literally that exact problem, then you're pretty much worthless. It's like being a one, it's a very one dimensional thing to have. Sometimes this is absolutely useful. There are these types of genius programmers out there who will wow some people with their amazing solution to a specific problem and they might get a lot of cred for doing something like that. But that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that you are able to do this sort of thing consistently over a span of different areas. That's the thing that quite a lot of developers are going to look up to, or they are, that's the desirable skills for them. Your coworkers will really, really appreciate if you are really, really good, at, like an expert within the language and the tools that they are using, and you really know the domain of the system, like you have an answer to all the different questions about, oh, this part of the system does this, and it, this does that, and except, you know, exed and Y and all of this good stuff, right? And then, of course, that you are able to write software very effectively and cleanly and you can give them feedback on their work and you can help them answer all of these different questions that they may have about good practices and things of this nature. To be a real senior, if you will. Now, from the company's perspective, the, the view is actually very, very similar. 
Now from the company's perspective, what they're looking for is literally like the most desirable thing that the people who are getting paid the absolute most are also the people who are experts at something, not necessarily at a specific language, but rather at a specific domain. So what I mean by that is basically that if you are a master of, say, CSS, that is sure pretty nice and the best, like, I mean, some companies will really appreciate that you are a master of CSS, but what's more interesting is if you are a true master of frontend or backend or operations or something like that. It's a broader field because that's what a company wants, if they can, is to hire these polyglot type of, I kind of know everything type of people that are so good at an area of software development that they feel that just having that person or just having that person in a company is going to raise the experience level of everybody else in that company. Because if they have such an individual, they feel comf comfortable that they have this person that pretty much can take care of whatever they, they, they are thrown. Sometimes they're absolutely looking for someone who is extremely specialized in some very niche sort of problem, but that is to fi figure out that one specific problem. So if you can find such an individual and you have that sort of specific problem, then yes, you're sure you become very valuable. But in general, what's the most desirable for the most, that's why every, you may have seen this on the job postings. That's why every single company are looking for people with at least two years of experience or four years of experience, 10 years of experience and so forth and so forth, because they are less interested in someone who is a master of, a, of one technology or just one or two technologies. What they're looking for are people who have mastered this industry, the true seniors, the sort of people that will make or break a project. So what I want you to take away from this is that the most desirable skill, I would say it depends on who you're asking, but it's actually funny because they are very similar in, in regardless of perspective here. For your coworkers, the most desirable thing that you can be is a master of the, the tools that they are using and a master of the system that they are working on. Because if you can answer all their questions and you're perceived as a bit of an expert, they will look up to you like a lot. They will come to you with for advice. They will come to you to get help and so forth and so forth. And from a company's perspective, having someone who is a true senior who can do this sort of thing is exactly what they want. They want these experiences that, you know, who are able to produce things really, really quickly, but at the same time as being really fast with their own stuff, they can help other developers to unblock them and they can answer stakeholder questions and just pretty much, they know this industry so well that you can come with to them with every question that you can imagine and they will give you a satisfying answer. They might even innovate a few and create some new, uh, new tooling or they might create some internal stuff so that ma makes your company go even faster. These are the sorts of people that in general have, uh, are considered to have a skill or a coveted or a desired skill that is going to be fairly universal. And you can absolutely also be a specialist and that is going to be desirable, but in general, most people are actually, the most coveted skill is to have this seniority, to not just be really good at one tool, but to be a master of this industry or a region of this industry. Have a great day.